Okay, so I have both of my hearts done. And um, if you want, you could use little clips or something to hold these together. I'm just going to do it this way. So if I get a little bit closer, maybe you could see better. I'm going to be using the white yarn, but you could use the same color. Remember, all the color choices are up to you. These are just kind of more of the traditional colors. So I'm going to make my little loop here to get started. And I'm going to join from this corner up to about here. I'm going to be working through both layers and then from here to about there again to this side I'm going to work only on the top layer so I will show you how we do that. So here I'm going to go through the bottom that starting chain. It's a little hard to do the first one but once you get that you're going to do that. You're going to go through both layers to uh, join it together. If you want to sew them by hand and then add your your trim later you can. I just think it's probably faster if we do everything all at once. So I'm going to get this a little bit there and pull this through. The first stitch is going to be a little hard because it's a little tighter there. So then I'm going to go ahead and chain two, one and two. Then I'm going to go into the next little, see how this is a double crochet, I'm going into the next post there. The front and the back, making sure I don't Oops. Hey guys, sorry. I made a mistake. I just chained. I started chaining with the tail here instead of the yarn here. So maybe it's good that you saw that one too. And this tail, I'm always saying, make sure your tail doesn't get in the way. That's why. So then if you go up, you're going to see this is the first row, right? So we're going to go into that little edge there there and there. It doesn't have to be perfect. We're just joining them together like that. And then we're going to do again one, two, go up to the next row here and there into those little corners there. Go through both layers and do your single crochet. So we're just going to be doing an edging like this. Let me see if I could get closer so you guys could see better. So see, you could see here that that's row one, row two, and then again right here I'm going to do one, two chains, and then go up to the next little bump here, there, and in the back, same round, and you do your single crochet. So I'm going to be doing that all the way from here to about maybe here, the 14th row, okay? joining both layers together. Okay, I've come here to the 14th row. It's just like the one little row before the last one. Now here we don't want to keep doing it together because it'll just stitch the heart closed. So I'm just going to work this section to from here to here only on the top layer and then when we come when we finish doing that we'll have to come back and work this one separately if you want it on the back part. So here I'm just going to go ahead and continue to do the chain two and then on my next stitch right here I'm going to do, oops, I'm going to do my single crochet, chain two and now we're going to skip two stitches here, one, two and on here we're going to do our single crochet, chain two, one, two, skip the next stitch and go to the one after that and do our single crochet like that, chain two, skip the next stitch and then here in this corner we're going to do single crochet. So here we're doing the edge but we're leaving this back free because remember we want to have it an open little pouch. If you want to close it up and then just stuff it all, you can also do that. You can stuff it all and just leave like a little section open here. So you could stuff it and then finish it together. It's totally up to you because you can make a little cushion, but I'm making a little pocket here. So here I'm going to continue. One, two, then I'm going to go to the next row here. And just do the same thing I did here on the sides where I'm going from the next row to the next row all the way up. You just want to have like two spaces. So here I'm going to the next stitch here. And this, I think, even just with this little edge, it looks really pretty. If you want, and I, um, 
I'm going to do one half with the pico and one like this so you could decide which way. Well, I'm just going to do the pico so you could decide do you want to end it like this or do you want to continue. So here, we're going to continue working until we get to the other side. One, two, we're now on our next row here. So we're just using our rows and our stitches as a, a way to keep track of where we're at. One, two, and then this one's going to go in that center stitch right there. And then we're going to go up just like this to the next stitch right here. So I'm going to continue working on this. And then I'll come back when I'm at this point. We'll, we'll, uh, we're just going to finish working it together right there. But you could see here that it's separate. And that's what you want for your little pocket. These are cute also to make. So you could like hold. You can hang it on a kid's chair when they're getting Valentine's. Or hang it on a wall or somewhere that you want to have something special. You could stick in a little gift inside and give it to somebody. So we're here up on top again, almost to the other side. This is what it looks like. I think it looks really cute. But skip that one. One, two. We're going to go to the last here stitch. And then here, one. Two, and now here we're on the 14th here round here so we're going to start putting it together again so here when I go in this stitch I'm also going to go into here and and like I said if you want to clip them together you can I'm going to go ahead and just finish here do my two chains single crochet into the row two chains single crochet into that little ridge two chains just the seam all the way across and then we'll come and work back this back and add our little ties okay so here now I've worked all the way around and you could see that this part is open we're going to put our little hanging straps here um, if you want to go back and add this edging you just start attaching here and then just complete your little edging here um, but it really doesn't show when you hang it but I know that some people want everything to be nice and finished so here I'm at the bottom where I started the little heart the point so here to go up I'm going to chain three I'm going to go one two and three and I'm going to work a pico stitch I don't know if you peacock pico I'm going to go back into that first chain one two three and I'm going to pull through there just like that and make that little point now here I'm going to start working inside of these chain two spaces I'm going to do two single crochets one and two and then here you can see that little point on my after my second single crochet I'm going to do a pico one two three then you go back into that first chain, pull out your stitch through both of those. And now we're going to go back and do my next two single crochets, just like that. So we're just getting these little peak peaks there. I'll move my hand right now so that you could see it. Hopefully you could see it better. So here is the second peak. So here I go once again, one, two, three bring that hook back into that first chain grab the yarn and pull it through okay and it's going to make a little peak I don't know why this one's a little bit messy but let's just keep going and I might undo that one because it's starting to bother me <laughs> so basically what we're going to have here is just a little peaks there if you could see that on my hand so I don't like the way this kind of got separated so I'm going to take that off you don't have to be that picky like me but I just don't like when it didn't I think it split a little bit one two three I want it to be a little bit neater than that one so I'm going to do it again there 
that looks a lot better it didn't split and then I just continue to do my two single crochets followed by my pico stitch all the way around the white layer so right here we're going through both layers but once we get here we're just going to be working on the white here and then you're going to get this pretty little edge there so I'm going to go ahead and finish that and then we'll come back and I'll show you how we can finish the back here and add our little uh, ties okay so here I finished my last little uh, pico stitch and so here I'm just going to go ahead and attach it to my first stitch there I'm going to cut this off I'm leaving that tail so I could sew that back in and when it's a longer tail it's, it's a lot easier to sew in so here we have a couple tails that I'm going to have to sew in um, so now here this is the front and this is the back if you want this back to also have that little st um, stitch like we did here in front I I think you, you don't need the pico in the back but you could just do just the little um, stitches three stitches there so I'm going to go in here because I want to do it separately I don't want them to uh, get caught you know close it up and like I said if you want to do a pillow then you would just do them all together but here I'm going to go ahead and take out this and do my two chains go to my next stitch here do my single crochet and just finish the edge like I did in the front here I'm going to skip this one come into the second stitch one two skip this one go to the corner so I'm just going to see how this will look pretty just with this here because it looks like this top is on there go again the next stitch so I'm going to finish this on the back and you could start on either end it doesn't matter skip this one go in the next stitch so then I'm going to end here one two and I'm going to go in the same stitch I had here okay so now there you have it if you want to make the pico edge, I'm not going to because I'm going to make this into a little pouch like to carry your cards or gifts or candies, put little candies. So when I get to this edge, um, well let me do the pico so I can show you how do you do it. Two, three, and then you would make your little pico stitch. But you don't have to do it. I'm going to just do it so that I can show you if you want to do it. So here once again one two and then I'm going to do them all the way to the end I changed my mind in mid <laughs> tutorial but I know some people are going to ask me how do I turn if I do that pico stitch so this is how I'm turning just like that but you don't have to do it remember there's two single crochets in the chain two spaces after your sec second single crochet you do the little three chains and then you finish that stitch right there and I'm going to finish this and I'll come back and we'll add the little straps okay okay I finished the last pico here so no both sides are done and then here I'm just going to do a single crochet there to just anchor it and now here I'm going to do 30 chains you could do more if you want four five six seven eight Nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, twenty, twenty one, twenty two, twenty three, twenty four, twenty five, twenty six, twenty seven, twenty eight, twenty nine, and thirty. Ah, okay, and now I'm going to go here to the other side. Remember, this is the back side, so I'm connecting the loopy to this back. You could do it either to the front or the back. It doesn't really matter which one. So here, I'm going to go ahead and go back to where I started here, right there. I'm going to chain, um, not chain, I'm sorry, single crochet. That looks kind of short, huh? Hmm. Sorry, guys. I thought it was 30. Maybe it was... Let me look at my notes. Hang on a second. 
Huh, it says 30. I'm going to do 45 because I think that's too little bit. Four, five. Sorry, guys. Seven, eight, nine, ten. One, two, three, four, five. Let's see that. Yep, that's a little bit better. I think it was too small. So here in this little stitch where the back, where I started doing the back stitches, see here's the front, the back. I'm going to insert my hook there and join my little chain here right there do a single crochet and if you like the thickness of this then you can go ahead and fasten off I am going to go ahead and do a chain back into every chain because I want it to be a little bit thicker so I'm just going in there and just doing a slip stitch not a chain I'm sorry go back in there the next stitch slip stitch then my next one it's kind of just like doing a little eye cord I guess it's going to need it a little bit thicker, but you don't really need to do that that thick. You could just do it with the single chain if you want. Let me put my let me put this a little bit closer so you guys can see what I'm doing. It's kind of hard to see because it's all wide, right? Let me get a little bit closer. So here's the chain. I'm just going back into every chain and just doing a slip stitch. The next chain slip stitch. I know sometimes it's hard to see when it's just wide and wide. And so you could see the difference in the thickness. One's a lot thicker than the other, but it's up to you. You can just do it with one chain. So I'm going to... Okay, so this is my last stitch there. So I'm going to go ahead and fasten off. And then all I need to do is sew in my tails. I have two tails here. And two tails here. Let me move this back so you can see what it looks like. And it's all done. The little pouch is done. You can use this for um, putting in, you can hang them and put in all, um, your Valentine's Day cards. You could put little pla uh, pa packages of candy as long as they're still in the little plastic um, container, little bags. You could put in toys. You could make it as a little uh, cute little child's little hand um, handbag or just to um, hang it up you can even hang it in your kitchen uh, put in some um, potpourri packages or maybe some dried flowers it's really up to you that's it it's done so like I said I hope you enjoy this video tutorial please be sure to subscribe if you haven't already done so hit that like button and also please visit my blog all crafts channel I'm going to put it in some of the um, I've been adding more uh, written patterns in there and also visit my Etsy shop my Etsy name is, is uh, Yolanda's all crafts and uh, I have some of my uh, items that I've done for different videos everything's new in there it's all done by me so that way you can uh, enjoy some of my stuff too so thank you so much have a great day and remember always that God loves you